Hello, uh, we are back and in this episode, uh, we will look further about how a technology can help impact and uh, contribute towards alleviating diseases like TB, which is our focus. In the earlier episodes, we had focused on the treatment options available to patient, but here we have Sukhan. Sukhan, uh, why don't you tell uh, in this episode specifically about how artificial intelligence, AI yeah. approaches can actually uh, be used for uh, uh, TB elevation? Thanks Ravi for asking. Um, so artificial intelligence, uh, as you know in simple terms, at least for the listeners, uh, is essentially computer learning things yeah. and it has the ability to learn a lot more because a human lifespan is limited, human experiences are limited. True. With the speed of computing, you can train it a lot. True, true. So the advantage of artificial intelligence can even be in diagnosis. So you are getting different sequences, you identify few marker regions and you identify what is the difference, how the bug is evolving. That's very, very important. So that is one aspect. There is another aspect which uh, Ravi uh, and I are thinking of is using AI to even come up with non-molecular approaches of TB diagnosis. We'll talk about it some other day. But beyond just uh, diagnosis, where AI can come in handy is the fact that more than half the TB cases are misdiagnosed. Absolutely. And that is uh, 50% plus yeah. cases which are misdiagnosed. And thousands of unnecessary deaths are happening. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. And this is where uh, we need to really push fast. But technology yeah. is something which is in our hands. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is one place where Indian scientists cannot afford to complain because we all have laptops, we all have desktops. Um, you can actually, even if you need some computing power, buy servers from companies like Amazon or IBM. Mm. As long as you're good, you have no reason to complain here because you can say, I don't have this facility. It's just, just a will to do. Or, it's just yeah. a will to do. It's just about will to do. So we're using artificial intelligence. Mm. We can actually act as very good foot soldiers in the mission 2025 and 2030. Mm. So. What you can do is help in correct diagnosis, make physician assistance. AI can also help build better apps, which can help as reminders. Okay. AI can also identify what are the parts of the India where you're not getting good information. Let okay. me even explain in detail how it can be done. Okay. So let's say you are having news, right? So, yeah. Um, and newspapers, uh, you can't physically go through every single newspaper every day. You can't watch every single episode on TV, uh, television. Uh, you can't look through every single movie. In True. case of me, I don't even have a television, so I can't see probably anything. <laughs> we, are but, busy. we are too busy. To yeah. <laughs> but what you can do uh, is, you can do, hmm. uh, essentially, uh, get this information. Okay. The various ways okay. of scraping and all, or you writing web crawler. My lab frequently does this. So you get all this information, but humans can't classify once you've even True. got this information. True. AI can do it. So we train artificial intelligence to classify information. So I can tell, hey, by the way, in Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow is well informed, but maybe in Kanpur, people are not getting enough information about this disease okay. or this drug availability. So it will uh, help in outreach. It will help in outreach. So mm -hmm. we can find out where there is need. We can also find out what people are talking on social media. Okay. So we can say, hey, here people are not well informed. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is where there is concern. So we can do rational policy making also. We can I have a question, Sukhant. Uh, given the stigma of uh, TB, yeah, right, yeah, and, and the hesitance of a person who is actually infected to go to, to a caregiver, where can AI help in this case? Definitely, I think by uh, imp improving the kind of things that the person receives, Google Ads and all those things or Facebook customized ads should not just be used to sell you better shoes or cell phones, right? It should be used true, to improve true. your health. And definitely AI can make a lot of difference in removing targeted, stigma. Targeted ads. Targeting advertisement can make a lot of difference. Difference to this. Towards this mission, I think this is an essential step. Thanks, Sukant. Uh, you gave lots of inputs on various aspects. AI is multidimensional, but when it's used for healthcare, I think it can really transform uh, lives, especially with uh, deadly disease like tuberculosis. Absolutely. So uh, the, this uh, brings us to the end of this episode. Uh, see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.